no white line in the border. I mean, in the view. Yay. Hurricane not here yet. Yay. It's actually now a tropical storm. And I just went outside. It's much warmer now. It's 630 in the morning than it was yesterday. Uh, midday. Um, the winds are not as strong, but we might just be in a band that hasn't gotten here yet. Um, but I, I, we're not going to get anything like we had. Um, sorry, I got distracted from my pegboard here. Um, like we had Ian. Okay, the word today is current. And not current like what happens in a storm. <laughs> current like the berries. Um, I have some notes. I have some scissors. I have some paper. Um, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off some of the stuff on the right-hand side. Is it even? Or what is the word? Not even, but... Um, the same on both sides, cylindrical, I don't, whatever. No, no. Um, do I kind of tone it down a little bit? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm, I'm going with a round thing, theme, surprise, surprise, but currents are round. So we're going, we're going with a round theme. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, and I kind of went a little abstract on this one, too. Um, I don't know why I'm into the stacking thing. I really am. But I am doing my goal of using up as much paper as I can out of this book. Um, and I'm really, really proud of myself. I love that print that I had my thumb on a second ago. Um, but I found a way to use one of these pages that has blocks in it. Is it perfect? No. Does it blend? Yes. Um, you can't really see once I patch up the blocks with other paper from my, because I rounded the edges um, and trimmed it in a little bit. You can't see what I, um, it, it blends. Good enough. Um, good enough is a new word for me. Good enough. Works good enough. Um, I've never obviously been a perfectionist, but Good enough is a good law to live by, in my opinion. Um, it gives you freedom to, as if I'm a philosopher and has it have any uh, business telling you how to live, but it gives you good permission to not stress over stuff. Um, we use that a lot with what I do in quilting. Um, it's good enough. It doesn't, I don't, my, my, Points do not have to be perfection. My seams don't have to match perfectly. Um, do I strive to do it? Yes. Um, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, it used to make me mad. Um, but in my old age, I'm letting loose. Watch out, world. I'm letting loose. So do these colors match perfectly? No, one is more blue. The, the flower print has a little bit more blue to it. I was just going through some printables here. I couldn't remember what I had. Some are mine. Some are from Patreon. Some are things all over the place. Um, here's some leftover Halloween paper, which is a lot of black and gray. I'm trying to figure out if I could use any of that. Mm, no. Well, mm, could I use this one? Mm, maybe. Then I have this bag of stuff. And I found a couple pieces that I might be able to use out of this bag. So that works for me. Um, are they perfectly blended? No. Do they work? Yep. Good enough. Good enough. And it, it allows me to move forward, which inspires me at the moment. Um, and I don't mean at the moment currently in my workflow. And then I found this little thing. I was trying to cut out some circles which didn't work thank goodness because I just use this as a little tiny pocket flip or whatever you want to call it not pocket flip but a flip um and my bullet my journaling today is just bullet journal bullet book 
bullet point journaling. Um, this is a people, people, if you have gorgeous paper towels, photocopy them. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then keep it forever. Um, this is a photocopy of a paper towel that I used to clean off something related to a jelly plate. Um, years and years ago, probably when my granddaughter still wanted to do a lot of art with me. Those were the good old days. Yep, the good old days when she wanted to do art with me. We had some great sessions and I love those memories. But right now she's too cool to do all that stuff. So hopefully it'll come back. Um, so I'm, I'm just using double-sided tape on this part because it's going to get... I don't trust the glue. Um, anyhow, keep all the, keep all those slivers of stuff. You know, you never know. Um, here's a sliver from the, the border that I cut off and it's my tab to lift up. Um, so yeah, I have a square and I have a circle and I have a scalloped edge. That's not symmetrical, symmetrical. That was the word I was looking for earlier. Um, but it's good enough. It's good enough people. And when it's all said and done, I will love this book. I'm so far loving the freedom of playing in this. Um, which is not unlike the freedom I get from a traveler's notebook. Uh, I'm not a pocket kind of girl, I guess. No matter how much I like it. Well, it's kind of like me and my love-hate relationship with Jose Naranya. Now, I really don't hate him. But I wish I could journal like him. Nice, neat, tidy boxes. I love the look of it. I've tried it. I can't do that. It's just not in my DNA. <laughs> but I will read you my bullet points, which is all about currents. <clears throat> and that's just the journaling I'm using today. Vitamin C source, grown in the Pacific Northwest, closely related to raisins, no fat, contains magnesium, which is a good is good for the nervous system. Uh, name derived from the word Corinth, a city in Greece, while, where they used to grow currants. <clears throat> So, that was all kind of cool. I've been to Corinth. It's really interesting. Very interesting. Um, but here I am trying to draw just a couple sprigs of currants. And I wanted to make sure I practiced drawing every day. Do I need more practice with these little shapes? Probably not. I think I got those down pat. Don't ask me to do anything farther than that, though. But it's good enough. And I was going to put it on that circle. But now I'm stacking things on the left. And then I started stacking a lot of things. <laughs> but I don't dislike it. I don't dislike it. It's not even it's better than good enough. I don't dislike it. I'm in a stacking mood right now too. Circles and stacking. If you are round, I'm going to stack you. <laughs> but I kind of like that play with the circles um and stacking them. It's fun. It's fun. And then it kind of helps the unsymmetrical aspects of the the uh, cutout on the right-hand side, in my opinion. But I don't dislike this at all. Um, and I like the gold outline that I did with this uh, marker. Just a little bit of gold metallic in places and kind of added like circles around the edge of the metallics. They don't show up on there as much. But that's okay. And I almost added a black to the edges of it and I backed off because there's no black in this. Why put it in there? I love it. Better than good enough. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.